the batteries only change them. What was the click? Um, just certain circumstances in my life changed a little bit. <laughs> so I was hitting with that fan. <laughs> I was hitting with that fan from across the street for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome to Sports Life and Hip Hop. I'm Channel 7, and we're on the set of the dark. Um, as you can see, I'm with two of the game's top adult performers. I got Bria Banks, I got Pressure. Question, is this really an adult film? Let's get into it. Well, I, this can go to both of y'all ladies first. Bria, um, how did you get in the industry? What made you want to get in the industry? And when did you get in the industry? It was a slow progression. I started dancing, then I went to CAM, and then I went to OnlyFans, and okay. went full-blown into the adult industry. I did that, I want to say, six years ago now. Okay. Yeah. CAM, is that similar to content? Um, it can be. It's primarily solo. You can do it um, as a couple in certain sites, yeah. but for the most part, it's solo. Interesting. Okay, and, and, and pressure you? Uh, so I came and dropped some food off one day, man. I thought I was about to teach the Pilates class. I showed up bitches everywhere. I'm talking about titties out, ass out. Now I'm bullshit. Really? <laughs> um, I also was a, a stripper. Not really a dancer. It's a difference. I was a stripper. I can't dance at all. I can take this shit off them. What's the difference? Though? Like, so a dancer or? got moves. I'm just getting yeah, naked. Okay. And this shit ain't really coming with no sauce. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm. I know why I'm here. I'm not, I can dig it. All right. Know why I'm here. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> when I was doing the whole dancing, stripping, entertaining thing, uh, there was a owner of a club in D.C. And when he found out via my manager at the time that I wanted to get into the industry, he was cool with the, my mentor basically, um, Chuck Prince. And Prince brought me in the game, gave me the ropes, and I had a real big blow up fast with the mainstream. Early on, I didn't like the content shit at all um, because I feel like in the NBA, if you get dress, drafted, you're a professional basketball player. Porn is more so like um, everybody with a basketball or that shoots a basketball is a basketball player. There's no gatekeeping. There's no significant way to differentiate who's significant in the industry versus who's not. If I'm honest, I hate when I tell people I'm a porn star and they go, oh yeah, my cousin, bone fuck nobody a porn star too. I'm like, no, the fuck he's not. Right. Because he get his dick wet on camera sometimes, but he's not a porn star. Let me ask you this. I don't mean to cut you. Of course. Because I did my homework. You got awards. Yeah. AVN, yeah, right, right. AVA, uh, wait, uh, AVN? Adult Film, Adult Video Award, AVA, right? Yeah, Adult Video Negro. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> cut that part out. Cut that part out. <laughs> Adult video network is and that what separates professional? Not you to start me. Getting awards? Because even though I've won AVN twice, um, just keep it a band. I think it's bullshit. Um, I think AVN is honest or rigged. I think there are many talented performers that don't get nominated because they haven't worked for the right studios, um, or they don't have the right agent, etc. I think what differentiates a professional porn star from an amateur is if all you did was porn, could you live your life the way that you choose to live your life hmm. financially? Or uh, Because I feel like everyone has a link in their bio now, but if you can't feed your face with that, then it's more like a hobby to me or it's like an aspiration. Once again, going versus back to the money. it's not really... You ain't there yet. And I feel like the problem with porn is a lot of people don't want to say they're not, they're not there yet. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to act like they just as lit or they just as popping. And it's numbers lie. You know what I mean, people lie, numbers don't. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my personal take on it. But I also feel like uh, as a lit porn star, I made this much money. Oh. As a lit content creator, I made this much money. So initially, I thought that porn star was the wave because... I was a porn star. Yeah. Now I'm going with a bag. You can call me a porn star, content creator. As long as you call me somebody with some change, I'm cool with it. So that and that would that would uh, class be class. That could be classified as OnlyFans. Yeah. IG, um, whatever. Yeah, I feel like uh, as far as content creation, man, the the goal is to be anywhere there's consumers. 
Mm-hmm. So if you are my fan, my supporter, and I know two hours a day you want to be on YouTube, I need a YouTube. For an hour a day you want to be on TikTok, I need to have something on TikTok. Mm. I need to be wherever it is that you're choosing to spend time. It's a formula to it. Facts. Gotcha. Um, let me ask you this. So you mentioned mainstream. Right? It kind of correlates uh, with my next question. Did you ever have, um, main, do either one of you, did you all ever have mainstream aspirations? Like, I mean, like, and I'm not going to insult you by saying actual acting, like like acting a dentist, like, are you an actual doctor? Right. No, no, no. They're, that's a, I know what you mean. They're, they're, they're doctors too. You're With actors too. Shit, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> did you ever have aspirations of being a, a mainstream actor, like, I don't know, Days of Our Lives, uh, you know what I'm saying? No. No? No. Respect, respect no. yeah. Not I'm, that kind of acting. Mm-hmm. Um, and as far as mainstream, um, like, adult content, mm-hmm. uh, up until recently, that was not something that I wanted to do. So, gotcha. Yeah, that recently changed, though. What was the click? Um, just certain circumstances in my life changed a little bit, <laughs> so... I was hitting with that, with that thing. <laughs> I was hitting with that thing from across the street for it. <laughs> 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 How about I, yourself? I, I wanted to be a, <laughs> I wanted to be an actor super bad growing up. Okay. Um, I've been in probably fifty plays. I've seen The Lion King on mm. Broadway. I've seen Forty Second Street. I've seen Wicked. But realistically, man, you know, we grow up in a, a low income environment. Your mother's not by the paper no agent acting classes. Well, you better act like you got some sense and go there and sit the fuck down money. somewhere. Right. Um, so I call my mother all the time now when I'm on professional sets and go. Hey, I told you I was going to be in here, didn't I? Yeah. I told you I was going to be at the moment. <laughs> Google me. Tell your home girl I said, what up? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I seriously did. Honestly, though, I feel as though sometimes I lean towards this won't hinder that so much because mm-hmm. society is getting a lot looser. Yeah. Um, but then I, I play statistics, right? Let's say I wanted to be in a Disney movie, mm-hmm. which is very kid-friendly. Of course. Once they, I'm in this movie, these people, their parents are going to Google my real name and find all type of things that I did Mm -hmm. not so safe for work, if you will, and not so age appropriate to everybody. And then maybe that'll kind of hinder my progress a little bit. But you never know. That kind of goes back to a stigma. Do you feel there's a stigma to your profession? Like... <clears throat> Most definitely. Of course it is. I was yeah. gonna, I, you know, I was just curious what you yeah, thought. Definitely. Do you just not give a fuck, or do Correct. you, or uh, all right, okay, <laughs> you just not give a fuck as well. Like I don't care what people think of me. This is my job. I'm making money. Or do you? Is there any way? Is there something deep down that makes you want to prove to them? Fuck, I can act too, goddamn. Um, I act. You know what I'm saying? And then actually, shit, fucking is. Acting on a whole a other level, time. if you really like shit. A lot shit. of time. A lot of these bitches ain't <laughs> like that for real. Right. Um, but I feel like I do believe there's a stigma, but I don't believe that that stigma is a negative. I'm a believer in the fact of that stigma is a necessity for me to excel. Yeah. Because if you think about, like, let's say you take the weed game, right? Before they made weed legal, if you had the courage and the nutsack to stand on the corner and sell some weed, you yeah. can make a little money. Then dispensaries got opened and people that would have to go see the drug dealers now feel much safer going to the dispensary, right? Yeah. So I use that to say that if there wasn't a stigma behind porn, if it wasn't cliche, if it didn't take a certain level of courage and confidence, it'd mm. be much more oversaturated. Mm. It's the fact that if people feel like Damn, man, I wish I could live life like bro. That makes me right. successful. It makes people want to pay to get in my situation and get in my brain and see what I got going on. Plus, people understand, man, I'm pressure. I'm bring the baddies out here sometimes. I'm <laughs> bring the pieces Indeed. out by the bundles. Right, right, right. Perspective in there. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, a little bit. <clears throat> All trio. Now, from a, <laughs> now from a, uh, uh, well, let me ask you something from a business standpoint. In the '60s and '70s, there were magazines. 80s, there were tapes, VHSs. 90s, you got VHSs transitioned into DVDs. There was a product. People bought said product. Money was paid. Actors got paid. How do people make money off porn these days? There's billions of content. The internet. Who pays for 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 how? I mean, I'm very curious. Like, how is money being made? How do how do production companies make money? 
and how does it trickle down to the actor? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm I've always been curious about that. Like, how did the internet not correct answer people? or the truth? I want the truth. Well, first of all, your favorite porn star probably broke. Um, mm. She's not on social media asking if can somebody buy her coffee today because it's a ploy. That bitch really needs somebody to buy that coffee today. Uh, porn professional, the finances go like this. White girls get paid the most money. That's a fact. Okay. It's not my opinion. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, after white girls, then you usually see the next highest paycheck go to um, foreign females, uh, which would be basically any other race before black. Mm -hmm. um, after that, the next highest paycheck typically goes to white actors, males. Okay. Um, then we start black females, black guys get paid bottom of the bucket most of the time, unless your name start with P. <laughs> Resher the entertainer, something, something like that. No, it, it, can, get, it can get different from that specific situation, but True. generically, um, the, it's very race based. Um, and as a male performer coming into the industry without representation, uh, bum fuck nobody is looking at making between a hundred and fifty dollars to if he's lucky, maybe five or six hundred dollars for a, a porn video. So you gotta really put some work in to get that back. I don't put so many miles on this back right here, my shit. <laughs> but, um, but for me, the financial blow up happened during COVID. Okay. Because I told you I didn't really like OnlyFans. I thought it was a way for people that can't really do what I do Everybody to pretend to do what I do. And now yeah. it's kind of blurring the lines, and they think that everybody's the same. Mm -hmm. And um, during the pandemic, when they shut down mainstream production we were on mainstream hold too. So when COVID hit, right. we couldn't shoot mainstream pornography. Uh, so the first couple of months, you know, I don't care. I got money. I got bread. I don't want to work. No, it's not dick sure. tired. Right. <laughs> dick have to be out of breath. No, I'm playing. Uh, and um, so I started playing around with OnlyFans more to the point where by the time the shutdown was over and we could go back to work and my agent was calling like, hey, you know, I got some work for you. I was like, well, you got some work for who? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I got that shit. Why ain't gonna do it? <laughs> and so now most of my income comes from my independent productions. Bro, okay. uh, one of my biggest mistakes early was if I had a content shoot set up and I got a mainstream gig, I would cancel the content shoot mm. because at that time I didn't have a lot of money. Mm. I needed money right then. Oh, this content, I gotta sell it. They gonna give me a check today. I need the check today. Yeah. Dumbest thing I ever could have did because. I can make a toot that ass up tomorrow. We record it on our phones, and I can sell that video for the rest of my life. Almost like versus, music. Exactly. Sell it independent. As exactly. A versus Finish. just taking that. But that's not to say that I think one is better than the other. I think it's based on the personality and the individual. Yeah. Because if you're not genuinely creative, if you're not genuinely structured on your own, if you don't understand networking, marketing, content distribution, you need to go take that one paycheck. Because yeah. you're going to fall on your face trying to do the independent route. But if you can monetize your popularity and, and things like that, then the independent route might be a little way for you. Gotcha. But you don't jump into the independent game unless you know what you're doing. Sometimes, man, it's people that don't. Some people have success despite what they do, not because of what they do. What's your um? I'm gonna cut. What's your top? Both of you, Bria. What's your uh, top roles? If you don't mind me asking. Shit. Give me ballpark <laughs> figure. Give me ballpark. I don't really like movie, speaking movie. of well, your top well actually movie. so I haven't done mainstream okay. I did we have basically the opposite stories okay. like I haven't done any mainstream whatsoever I've done everything independent okay so it's so you get the bag without having to get the bag because you're all independent yeah basically gotcha. yeah and I sell my content on multiple different platforms so. okay yeah alright how about you um I'd be chasing that motherfucking sat down like Warren sat down. <laughs> uh, I feel like um, I got an ABN for uh, a role I did for a company called Deeper, um, which was a big role for me. But financially, I got paid like I would be paid to do something that took three hours. Black? What was, did you? Uh, did you were in Black City. I've black shot series? for a lot of movies for Black. Um, Shout out to Black man, cause I I'm a I'm a scenario guy. I'm keep it real. I'm a scenario. I know a lot of people want to just go straight to the 
I like the setup, but mm-hmm. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it makes the movie. Well, you trying to get your head chopped up. Um, <laughs> you know, Black took a lot of fire, bro. A lot of people don't know. They took a lot of fire. Um, I took a lot of fire personally during what? this time because for two reasons. They had the name behind them, which was Black. Then there's the whole stigma behind. People felt like they was exploiting black men and, you know, not giving jobs to black girls. Who was that? Performers mostly. Gotcha. Um, now that's that's a fire question you ask. Who is they, right? Because more often than not, what happens is people will glorify where they're celebrated yeah. and tarnish where they're not. So my the issue that I have with a lot of independent creators is they scream independent. I'm independent. I'm independent, as if they had a choice. Okay. A lot of these creators have no choice. Mainstream doesn't want them. Isn't checking for them. Isn't looking for them. So they're going to act as though they chose to be independent when really they you made could. you be independent. Right, right. And then it's like, are you independent or successful or are you just independent? Mm-hmm. And of course, on the Internet, everyone likes to just make it seem as though I'm independent. I'm doing my thing. And it's like, well, you ain't really running it up like that. Stop playing. Right. You don't got to say you because when I was doing mainstream, I was super popular, but not very financially situated. Which is much nice. more from where I came from. Mm-hmm. But compared to what I'm doing now, it's not even close. Let me ask you this: Have you either of you, Bria, as well? Um, have you met any mainstream actors that were familiar with your work? Answer first. Yeah. You, you have. Yeah. Was did they have? <clears throat> was there any condescending attitude like, "I'm a real actor," and? No. They were fans of your work, so they they didn't they were. They mostly just follow and slide in my DMs trying to work with me. Mm-hmm. So. I don't really get any shade or gotcha. any heat from any mainstream performers that I've had any type of experiences with anyways. Okay. How about you? Well, I be getting shade like I work for the shade room. I ain't really? Right. Um, shout out to Deshaun Wiltshire, uh, comedian. Showed me hella love. I was mm-hmm. a fan of his before I met him in person. Yeah. And he didn't play on no weirdo type time when he seen me. Mm-hmm. Um, Beast Mode Jones is a YouTube fitness creator. Also super popular, super kept it 100. The rest of these, I get a lot of dislike from um, male celebrities. Give me one. I know you don't. You, you, I don't want you to hurt you to hurt your um, name out there in the game. Give me one that, that is so insignificant. Fuck them. They can't hurt touch you. No. I feel like um, I say this. A lot of rappers that pay rappers. for their they they pay for their entertainment. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this video is going to entertainment <laughs> uh, are super not my fans because they in the studio every night they done sacrificed 10 years away from their family to get a little something shiny on their neck mm-hmm. so that maybe one of these Instagram models will see them and go oh he might got some money mm-hmm. charge them for <laughs> entertainment and then they're going to come lay out with me for the free <laughs> I'm going right. to be on their page for the free <laughs> so they get so salty towards me and kick so much dirt towards me that People I never even met, all because of shorties. And you, and you, you really feel that? You feel that? Oh, I know that. this. I know this would be a fact. Okay. I know this would be a fact. Interesting. That's, that's interesting as hell. Um, how do you handle the negativity? Well, you don't have you. You said Bri, You said you you haven't witnessed any like never in real person. Hate. And anybody who ever has like hated on me as far as social media is some random, usually behind a fake page. So. Okay. So not even significant enough you no, recognize. Nah, no, I pretty you, much keep to myself and I just ignore the bullshit. So. Keep getting the money, right? Keep working. And how about yourself? You just shake um, it off. In case I'm ever, you know, uh, running for office, Senate, if you will, maybe White House. <laughs> uh, when I deal with hate, you know, I pray on it. Uh, I hope for the best for them and their family, <laughs> and I just hope that we live a positive life. In case I never run for no shit like that, I be trolling. I be trying to throw these bitches in their face. I be trying to let them know. But you mean your bitches shit? Yeah. What? Put it in their mouth. Bro. Right. I want it to hurt. Yeah, Every time yeah. they open their page, I want to be on their explore page That's with something thick, about. with some cakes hanging off the. Right, I'm gonna chill out. I'm it's just up there, man. All right, right, right. All right, I'll, I'll wrap it up. I know we got time limits. Um, two more questions. Um, <clears throat> all right. So first of all, you guys have by far the coolest fucking jobs in the world. Mm. Um, I respect firemen. I respect po- police. I would much rather be get, would be fucking to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Yo, much respect the teachers. Everybody. Yeah, I got cooler jobs. I'm sorry. Um, 
<clears throat> so being that this is what you do for a living, for the average guy, the average girl out there, if there's one one piece of advice you would say, this is what you should keep in mind you want to keep your man. What would you, Bria, what would you give to that, that nice young lady that's a fan of yours, got that man at home, you know what I'm saying, she want to keep him. What advice would you give her? One thing. Girl, you better learn how to relax that throat. Boom. <laughs> get that head game right. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep him, keep him fed, keep him drained. Keep him fed, keep him drained. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. Fresher, what about you? That, that, that one dude, man, that's your mess. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> um, I'm going to tailor my advice probably more to like street dudes for real. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like women talk a lot sexually about how men don't understand anything about foreplay and don't know how to do this and don't know how to do that and honestly if you're growing up in the streets it's no significant place for you to learn any of that um if you're growing up in the streets you're gonna learn how to fuck from probably overhearing the ogs and your big brother and them talk about it and they lying half the time and you're gonna see some videos and you're gonna merge them two together in your mind right watching big and, bags of pressure uh so <laughs> i feel like my advice would be that um, sex and pleasing women is, um, is is evolving, it's elevating, it's deeper than get some hair fucked from the back if she asked you to get a pussy cuss up. Cause that's, that's the area I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you want me to do what, bitch? <laughs> now I might grab that mother. <laughs> Appreciate that. Bitch. Um, so ultimately, man, I just say uh, my one piece of advice would be uh, open your mind up because. It's 2023 right now. The internet is crazy. Back in the day, in order for mm -hmm. your shorty to get exposed to something else, she had to get in the car. She had to go somewhere and see some shit. Go buy she had to open a book. She had right, to... Right. Man, what? Your, whole can, your shorty can get get exposed to some shit you could never even think of doing. <laughs> Why she laying in the bed with you, bro? Right. Next so, to. if you know like I know, man, you're going you gonna to turn it up. That's all I can say. Whatever your version of turning it up is, I promise you, you're probably not doing enough. I promise you, your girl probably going to run into somebody like me that desires to beat her shit all the way to the other side of the earth and have you looking set. So if you care about that situation, man, just do your research, figure it out. Okay, I appreciate that's that's the honesty and, and, and something I'm gonna take take to heart. Uh, Better get your zane boots on. <laughs> uh, last question, and we can wrap it up. Um, five years from now, I Google Bria Banks. What's it gonna say? By this time. I'll be retired. Okay. I'll be retiring and um, I'll be living off of my multiple streams of income, the residual income. That's the end goal. So okay. as far as um, the industry goes, I have no idea. Um, I'm excited to see what the future holds, but I have absolutely no clue. All I know is that I got a mission, I got a vision, and I'm executing it. So. That's what's up. Pressure. Five years. Pressure. Five What's Google going to show? What's Google going to tell me about pressure? Reporting live from Channel 5, African American porn star gunned down on the scene and then no, we have local stop. authorities. Here. We have Black <laughs> Lives Matter on the scene. Black Lives Matter. We shit. have Bob on the scene. Bob, can you tell us what's going on? Yes, yeah, Susan. Uh, pressure was here putting pipe and apparently a woman that was married. Her husband showed up and I think he bust that fire on his ass. Um, no, in, Come on, man. in all seriousness, uh, I feel like um, most of my porno goals I've accomplished already. Uh, one thing that my mentor told me was no matter what I do, how, how big I get, how much money I make, you know, I haven't accomplished anything until I changed somebody's life in the way he changed mine. Mm -hmm. So what I've been trying to do for a while, man, is find a protege. Uh, but it's rough because this job is harder than people think. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more than can you fuck, you know, oh, I hear all the time, man, bro, I got hella videos on my phone, bro, me fucking bitches with the bros. I ain't even shot with my dick around the dude. <laughs> it's deeper than that, bro. Right. Um, so ultimately I hope that five years from now, man, I've been able to, because I've had people reach out to me before, but honestly, man, if people reach out to me, I feel like they kind of successful. I'm not even really interested because when I found porn, I was broke as hell. So I just want to like 
put that on the paint for somebody, let them get their situation right, yeah. and do that. And I feel like I did everything I wanted to do with the porno shit. Teach one, teach one. Facts. Gotcha. At least one move. I ain't teaching all y'all. <laughs> yeah, all right, but I'm gonna find me. But I'm gonna find me a protege. That's gonna happen. I know it. Um, well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> to our thousands and thousands of listeners, sarcasm, of course. Uh, <laughs> we got Bria Banks. We got Pressure. We're on the set of The Dark. I hope y'all go out and check it out. As you can see, we got plenty. We got a lot of character. Check it out. The Dark. Sports Life and Hip Hop. Bria Banks. Pressure. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Gratitude, y'all.